Neil here at the Sailing Vessel Dream Chaser. Welcome back to our channel, everybody. I want to thank those of you that have been commenting and providing some feedback to the videos and even the blog. I really, really want to thank you for doing that. Um, but in today's episode, we're finally going to get moving back on that teak deck again. It's just sat too long uh, and it's time to make some more progress. So uh, here we go. Man, I'm telling you, it's been raining like crazy for weeks here. I don't know what the deal's been, but. Uh... The good news is we have a little bit of a break in the weather. It actually looks like the sky might be blue up there, just with a real good fog and haze this morning. Uh, what we're going to do is um, today I went ahead and tied the end of the uh, the bitter end of the anchor road um, back down in the anchor locker. If you remember a couple of videos ago, uh, we went ahead and braided a three-strand line to extend the length of our anchor road. And in preparation for starting to rip up teak on this side of the deck, we need to get that uh, anchor road. Uh, put back in the in the locker. So I've uh, tied that and I'm gonna go up front here and start working on it. Uh, you can see here I put a tarp up with all that rain we had just to make sure that the uh, the doghouse which is essentially the companionway into the v-berth sail locker whatever it happens to be used for uh, uh, keeping that from doing any kind of leaking. So let me uh, let me kind of get the cover off and we'll start putting the line in. nice to at least get the chain down there. Hopefully, if I get a little break, maybe at lunchtime I'll come up and rip a few pieces of teak off. And uh, then maybe after Chaz gets back from school, we'll be able to do a few more. That would be nice. Say hi, baby. Hey. The good news is we have an awning being made. It's going to go from right about here where we are at the mizzen all the way up to the main. Have rigid aluminum bars that go over the side with side curtains that will go down to the lifelines. And a front cover that will go from the main all the way up to the bow. Uh, for all this work we're going to be doing in the spring and in the summer, it's going to give us a place to one, stay dry, two, stay shaded, and really allow us to make some progress up here. Uh, the good news is, because it goes back so far, it's going to cover the coach house wall here, which needs to be replaced. So once the teak deck's ripped up on the bow and we get a good layer of glass on that, we're going to come back here and venture into removing this entire wall here, which is going to be a chore. We're going to start with pulling this uh, tarp off that I have here. It's just been a little bit of extra protection for uh, any water that's getting in the boat. I have a piece of bronze rub rail here. I've been moving back and forth on the deck. We'll uh, set this right here for now. Thank <laughs> you. 
So unfortunately I don't have my flat bar. I left it in the storage unit and I didn't have enough daylight to want to stop and go get it. So I'm doing what I can with this, but it's pretty blunt. So it's not getting underneath them as easily as it should, but it's progress versus no progress. And frankly, just need a little victory on this right now. don't like what I'm seeing here either. I'm seeing a few termites underneath this deck. They can't be subterranean. They must be formosans, but it's obviously worrisome, so I'll have to check parts of this deck and see if it's rotted underneath and how I can get these guys out of here. I might have to have this thing tent fumigated as I fix it. Better safe than sorry here. I think I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more of this deck pulled up. I'm going to start with this Dorade box. I know I just rebuilt it not long ago, but frankly, it's leaking like a sieve down below. So it's time for it to come off and we'll figure out how we get a reset again in the future. And the way I made this is I have a frame underneath it in an earlier video where I showed this. So all I want to do is break the butyl tape loose here, but not go all the way into the frame that's attached to the deck. So I thought it'd be helpful to show a close up of how I go about removing the deck. I will say this is a little bit easier because it had rained heavily, just not too long before this. So this deck was a little bit wet, but you can see I start with a flat bar and I, I pry it along one edge of it. And I just kind of hammer through. Now I've not pulled the screws out or anything and I'm basically inserting the flat bar between um, where the screws are countersunk. It's basically just pulling them up through the bottom of the teak and then I'll pull the screws out after it. So I alternate between the thin pry bar and that thicker crowbar. So again, I'm, I'm gonna hammer this in with a rubber mallet. Once I lift it up, I use the other crowbar to raise the surface a little more and then just use whichever one I can that gives me a little bit more um, leverage, if you will, to, uh, to pull this apart. If these were longer, I could fold these pieces of wood over on themselves. It might be easier to go more than what I'm doing here, but I do somewhere between two and five slats at a time, um, whatever I can grab. So you can see here, I'm only getting, you know, it looks like two or three at a time, but kind of pulling them up and, um, and I'll just lift them as far as they'll go. Well, folks, I'm going to go ahead and continue working on this deck, but I think this is all the video we'll do for um, this week. Again, I hope you enjoy these videos, and next week I'm going to do a little bit uh, more detail and a close-up on exactly how it is we remove these board slats. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye for now. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, and please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even Tumblr. Please take a moment and go over to our website at svdreamchaser.com to download free resources for cruising and how-to projects. Get your thumbs and mouses ready. We also have a couple of links right on the screen for some other playlists and videos that we think you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching, fellow dreamers.